What's up, guys? We are back. Dude, my fucking ping is spiking. Alright, let's get it. I think this ward is really good, though. Like, just having that extra layer of defense. Because it's like, over, it's, um, it's like overreach. And it layers with, like, the amount of people around me. Too, so, like, the more people around me, the more people I'm hitting, the more people I'm, like, getting the ward from. <laughs> I think it's really good. I got it. I got the haze. Oh, gee. Bunch of level ups. <clears throat> really good. Yeah, I'm not getting the haste proc as much as I would like. I haven't gotten a lot of uniques. So I got the haste right there. Alright, boop, 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 boop. Nice, nice, nice. Stand down or die. Ouch, dude. I think these are like stunning hits that I'm hitting. Um, increased mana regen, life, elemental resistance, freeze multiplier. Uh, I guess I could just craft a lot of these and just get rid of them. Sorry for hitting the mic. I don't know how long I'm gonna play for today. Um, time rot duration. Like I don't understand. Like what's the point of it lasting longer? Doesn't isn't that? In PUE, it does something weird. We're gonna go with Future Strike again. I actually want like 100% on this. But the thing with in PUE, it's Ignite is a weird ability. Um, 30. I cannot do 30 minus uh, fucking resistances on that. That's just too much. Um, increased damage per point. While spinning, you have an additional melee leech. While wielding an axe, additional. No. Double while dual wielding this fact. Yeah. I don't need an axe for this, do I? Or path deals damage in a large area while wielding a two-handed weapon. That is a lot of damage. Void of damage. Maybe I don't need the life necessarily. I don't know. Because I feel like I hit this spot, right? And I go boop boop. Base crit. I don't want crit. I don't. I don't think it's a chance to grant void essence, which grants 50% chance or 50% increased void damage, 50% melee damage, and reduced stun duration. Duration does now more damage. Strike cooldown is recovered. Okay. Or I can go down this way. The the kills required to summon void beams via the void venomous void node requires less venomous node. 
Ravenous Void, if you kill five or more enemies simultaneously, the racing shield now creates four void beams. You gain haste buff for one second, granting 30% move speed. Wow, uh, okay. So haste is only movement speed. I thought haste was attack speed too. Haste does not stack. Granting 30% move speed all racing strike kills an enemy. Hmm, lefty down hit, lame over boss to percent. Okay, very interesting, very interesting. Uh, I think we just go damage, fuck it. Void drift, deal more damage. I think just a flat amount of damage is, you know, a little bit better. You are seeing uh, strike hits now, a chance to inflict enemies with time rot and what it is, yeah. Bleed chance from all sources converted to time rot, chance for your race. More da melee damage against enemies. Okay. Oh, good. You can have a maximum of three void essences at once. Pinch the great void essence. Fuck it, let's just, let's just test it. Who gives a fuck? Let's just test it. I don't think this is necessarily good though. Every third strike has a chance to detonate. Uh, detonate, it kills. Uh, detonate, I mean, it kills doing fire damage. I'm not really doing fire damage. Reeves first and second strike has a chance to reduce enemy armor. Thing is, like, I don't, I don't think, it, I don't think it like that does. I don't think that does anything. I think maybe just AOE is a little bit better. Just so I can hit more enemies. I don't. I don't even think that's. What the fuck? Oh, this is a friendly dude. I was like fucking. <laughs> I was. Okay. I can't see the map. He pulled out the ice shield. Damn, shit. He's ulting. I mean, he kind of got fucked on. Don't worry, bro. Go north. Retrieve the lands. Put your weapon here and here. I was too late. Raya must be stopped. Okay, but where am I going? Okay. Dude, I can't. I hate maps like this, dude. Yes. Shop. Ooh. Increased crit strike chance. Don't really care for. Potion slots. War decay threshold. I don't know what that means. War decay. War does not decay below your war decay threshold. And war below the threshold does not contribute to decay rate. For example, if you war decays with... Uh, with I like examples. Like, I... Holy shit. Having an example. Mwah. Mwah, thank you. Um... Ward decay threshold of 500, then your ward will not decay below 500 in the ward decay rate. Uh, in the ward decay rate at 1,000, it would be half. Potion. Ooh. Maybe I do pick up one of these then. 14 foraging potential. Um, minion damage, fire damage, poison resistance, increased health. Really? Since I am using a ward item... This has, dude, okay, we're gonna pick this up. 
We're gonna transfer materials. We're gonna look at this too. Mana cost, 20 mana, increased poison damage. We're gonna forge some stuff. We're gonna pick up these too. Um, just because I want to see if I can get the warpath. I see. I see. We're gonna clear this. Um, we're gonna use one of these though. Lightning. Sh I don't think I can. Oh fuck! I did the wrong one. <laughs> it wasn't even. Wait, it costs two. I thought I bought two. Yes. We're gonna shop. We're gonna buy one more. Okay. We're rich. Fuck it. Who cares? I see. We're learning, dude. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. Hello? We're learning, guys. Level of Warpath. Attunement shard. Okay, you're fucking smoking crack. Thank you. We're gonna forge on this thing. Um, I kind of want void damage. We're gonna type in void. Void damage over time. Void damage. Um, I. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna use this with this. No? Yes. 16. Forge potential remaining 11. Yes. Spell crit chance. That is dog shit. Um, and then we're gonna try this. Nice. And then we're gonna do another random one. For crit spell. Prize level 45. Got it. Now belt we probably should have had more glyphs of whatever the fuck um prefixes can i not put void damage i guess this is prefix i don't know if i have any um minion life mean ward gain on potion use extra potion slot adding potions uh, minion damage, physical damage, throwing damage, minion life, minion ward gain. On, I guess, I guess the belts have different prefixes. So let's use ward gain on potion, and we are gonna use. I don't know if I re I don't know if I want to like. Cost one to ten forge potential. I, I think I think we save. And this is a this is wait right, this is suffix so we go to suffixes elemental resistances um This looks like a cold area, so I'm gonna meta and put cold resist on this thing. And then we're gonna go elemental resistances. Minus one forging potential. Maybe I do prefix, but like, what is this? What is prefixes? Like ward gain. I can do two. No, that's an like upgrade. Like I don't, I don't really care about any of these. I think I just care about. Um. Yeah, no forging. Uh, yeah, I don't think I really. Maybe I should have done the um the reroll one. This gives me fire damage, increased life, poison resistance. Ah. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. I don't know if this is better, but it works slightly better because now. Yeah, my ward doesn't decay, which means... We don't means... have much time. The lance, it is there. You will see there. it, but Raya is the larger threat. So what is my thresh? 60, we must do, 7, we must be ready. ward decay. Okay. <clears throat> interesting, interesting. Um, inventory. I have not gotten any more... 
Let's see if I can remove this. I want fit experimental armor applies. Wait, external. Experimental armor applies to damage over time. Attack speed. Okay, I don't fuck it. I didn't want to pull up chat. Weirdo. Actual weirdo. So my my, my build is kind of weird. It's kind of like all over the place. It's a war a ward void warpath spin to win. I'm gonna be honest. That kind of fucking uh, it kind of turns out. I'm gonna be honest here, dude. I think I warpath to get my ward up. And then I Q it. Pop, 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 pop. Like, that's a fucking. That's a strategy right there. I can almost spin forever. Holy fuck. I go boom, boom. TP, R, and then I go like this. This build is fucking crack. This build is crack. This build is crack. Oh, fuck. Fuck my resist. This build is crack. No, no, no. I fucking. I unlock the sauce. I dump it. I teat. Oh, did I, this is the sauce. I got it. I tune make crit. Critical strike avoidance. Health increase. Nice. I have to kill these monsters because I'm under leveled. Like, tell me. Tell me, one-handed. Increased fire damage. Okay. Maybe they increased. Yeah, I really started to look at the, um... Some of these items now, because they're getting really good. And if I find, like, a good sword with ward on it, or, um... A good sword with... A good sword with, uh, void damage on there, I think I pick it up. We're getting into like the really good stuff now. Like stuff on the ground is actually like probably better. I feel like I used like all my crafting materials though. So I'm kind of sad. Like experimenting. Is this, I guess this is a shark, uh, Gods. crime buff. I do stun too, quite a bit. Maybe picking up that, uh, stun? Um. Uh, maybe picking up that, there was like a stun for my, um, volatile. Thing. Maybe, maybe I should look at that up. See what's worth it. That was a little weird. Oh my fucking god, dude. I think maybe I swap out my Q, my my Reef. I don't know if my Reef is uh. <sighs> maybe I can find like a better, uh, like a, you know what I mean, like a slightly better version of it. Like a, sl like a different skill, I guess. So I'm at a big maybe Smite. I don't know if Smite's like fucking. Like Smite doesn't heal me anymore. I'm using Void Knight River. Like, 
Like, look at these future strikes, dude. I guess they don't do a lot. Dude, I could also dump. I could go like, boop, 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 boop. Oh, I guess that dumps. Uh, but I, I could spam my potions for extra ward. You know what I mean? Uh, where am I supposed to go up here? Okay. I think I just got deleted. Yeah, dude, I, I'm really enjoying this build now. Spin to win, I has like no mana cost now because I reduced it to like zero. What is it? One mana. I can just do this, TP back, go here, boom. Because it gives armor shred, so I can just dump my whole mana. I just do this. <laughs> Gods. Um, I don't think there's anything good I want here. Maybe this idol. Cold damage taken as physical increased armor. We're gonna pick this up because this is an idol. I don't think you can craft an idols. I think I already checked. But let me pick it up. Increased mana. Necrotic damage taken as physical. There is like a lot of stuff taken as physical damage, but in P in P we it's a completely different ball game. Like, it, there's so many stats in here, it's kind of hard to... To make it, like, work, I guess. Oh my god. This thing's fucking... Smacking me around. Um, let's check out the new ones. You have an additional vitality and smite now. S gain spell void damage per point of vitality, but no longer gain increased damage per point of attunement. Huh? You have an you have an additional vitality and smite now. Okay. Gain spell void damage per point of vitality. How much vitality do I have? Seven. Okay. You deal increased melee damage and you have increased armor and void damage if you have killed an enemy with a melee attack recently. Okay. Increased melee damage. Increased void damage. 5%. Increased armor. Good. Your melee attacks have a chance to inflict time rot. Melee attacks. Is this melee attack? Melee. Is this is this melee? Melee. Okay. Whenever you use an ability that reduces your mana below zero, you gain your granted haste. Whenever you use an ability that reduces your mana below. Okay. What if I use my war path? Right, because it only costs one mana. So that's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Then out. Mmm. Ooh, shit. Your melee attacks have a chance to inflict. I think just time rod is better, right? Because it's, 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 I think it's just better. Especially like more TPS. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm at like eight stacks of like time warp here. Or time rod. I just do this, spin a win. Oh, fuck. What is hitting me so fucking hard? Though? 
Maybe I do a little spinning too. Alright, like I, I spin over here. Oh, fuck off. I press W, but it doesn't give me life anymore. Bonk. Like, holy shit, like... Hmm. I feel like sometimes... I feel like sometimes I get hit. And it can't... Does it, like... I don't know. Maybe there's a... I feel like sometimes when I'm warpathing and I get hit, I lose a bunch of mana. Maybe there's something I'm not fully understanding, but... Legendary Potential 1. I don't know what that means. But we're gonna pick it up because it's five fucking... 500... Look in it. Uh, gold. Dexterity. Increased cold damage. Necronic resistance. Doesn't really matter to me. Cold damage taken is physical. I think I should put that on. Over. Chance to poison. Necrotic resistance. Increased armor. Oh, but this is like a fucking three. Can I put this on? That's not possible. Does it say though why I can't? I, it's two handed, but like, is it like maximum wraiths? Summon wraiths? Hmm. Wait, where am I going? I think I... Oopsie. Um. We have to go here? Should we go here? Right? Am I not... Am I being stupid here? Yes. Haste is only movement speed, so I don't think it matters. If haste was attack speed, right passive. I just want to look at this again. Haste duration. Haste is a buff that grants increased move speed. Yeah, thirty percent. So it, it's not that good. I can't see where I'm going. Fuck. I'm blind, dude. Holy shit. I really like this ward sword, this unique ward sword. Does this have legendary potential? No. I, I don't know what legendary potential means. Does that mean I can, like... I've seen something about it. Um, does that mean I can turn it into a legendary? Or is it, like, something I dismantle? Like, I don't know what a legendary is yet. Walk this way, spin and win. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, so these guys are doing a shit. What's my physical resistance? I'm just curious. Physical 39. Oh, I'm over capped on. Dude, my elemental resistance is. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I could take this off, right? And still have. Oh my fucking god, yes. I actually love this. I can get like new gloves entirely. Oh, dude, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Um, I'm scared of these monsters because I don't. What am I supposed to do? Maybe I just spin? Like, these things are hurting like hard. Like, I'm three levels down. What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do?
Of resistance heals if not damage recent periodically becomes rampant. Huh. Physical resistance. Uh, plus one to manifest armor, increased minion damage, armor. Um, maybe I get new boots, new gloves. My gloves are trash. Maybe there's a better way to find gloves. I think I just need better gloves all around. Yeah, I gotta be careful with these things. Hmm. Right, how do I get up? At, like, oh my god. Hmm. I just wanna know what is doing damage to me. Like, I, I don't know. Like, it, it says physical, but is it really physical? Like, I don't... I know, I know that's, like, a dumb question. Like, it says I'm dying to physical, but... Sometimes, uh... The thing you die to isn't what's killing you. I think we're fine now. All right, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna get this chest. There's gonna be some good stuff in here. What? Am I lagging? What is going on? That was weird. Hmm. Sometimes this game with this warp path is, is, I don't know. It like moves me in weird directions. I don't know if it, I think it's cause I, some mobs you can't walk through, I guess? I don't know. I think it's like a, a slight bug. Like, see, right now I can stand through him. Sometimes when I'm warpathing, it feels like I can't walk through people. Hopefully this thing has some, um... Gloves for me. Let's do one of these, uh... Let's pick this up. Let's pick this up. Bow Quiver. <clears throat> Idle. Dodging. Void resistance. Rogue body armor. Gloves. Necrotic resistance. Minion life. Belt. Boots. Chance to poison on hit. Increase void damage. Increase minion void damage. We're gonna pick this up. We're gonna get rid of chance to poison necrotic resistance. And we're gonna go void damage. Oh, we also got two more. We're gonna move this up here. We're gonna move this up here. Can I, can I rotate these? No. That's uh, unfortunate. It really is. But I, it means I could put this in. But I have to take out one of these. Increase physical damage. Is vitality really that worth it though? Uh, we'll see. We'll find out. Let's level up my uh, warpath. Maybe he's hit by well, the roof. Take increased damage over four seconds. Health regen. Holy fuck. Um, armor, vitality, poison resistance. I think I want to go... I think a vitality... I, I think that vitality thing is pretty good too.
Lightning resistance, forging potential. Hmm, let's see what this does. Over time, okay. I think it just cold damage over time, pretty interesting. Oh, I don't think I need to click because I think I should walk over when I pick them up. Boop, boop. Nice. What is this? Shred physical. Oh, okay, so they're shredding my physical resistances. There's gonna be a bug with this uh, volatile rift thing. Like, there's gonna be like you open something, go back, like, like a some bug. Like you. Uh, maybe, like something closes behind. Like you walk into a trap and the door closes behind you, and then you time rift out. Um, shred coal resistance. Oh yeah, there are much that shred coal resistance. I remember the game telling me that. That you should probably have uh, overcapped resistances just for that. See, my mana just drops there. Is it? Is it because of the spell echo that's making it uh, just drop randomly? If so, it that's kind of crash. Kind of annoying. I don't like having my mana drop randomly. That is a lot of cold damage. Why is my frame dropping? Passive point. Um, time rise and melee does 45 damage over time. Increases stun duration by five. Okay. I'll at least get four of them. Just so I can get the, uh, the next one. I don't know what it does, but we'll see. Dude, those ice spells do a lot. Those beams that these things are shooting. <laughs> like that's... That, like, that full combo is pretty dangerous, dude. Slam twice destroys void resistance. Uh, reverse time. Ooh. Health gain when stunned. Change to... Okay. I shred their armor. TP out so they take increased damage. And then uh, lunge back in. Pretty soon I get my level 50, my lunge ability. So I can start leveling my lunge. Dude, that shit does so much. If 
I get like minus one more cost to Warpath, I get I can use it forever. I don't know if that's worth it. Like one, it's because it's like a whole point of level. You know what I mean? Just because one man is pretty manageable. I don't know if having multiple, you know, I don't know. So you like slam, slam, boom, boom. Very nice spin. Just like this. Now we get them all together. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god, what is this boss? What the fuck is that? That, that was fucking nutty. What the fuck? Okay, chance to ignite. Health increased health regeneration. I do want this belt. Uh, this ring? Mana, mana, dredge. I don't think I need mana, mana, dredge. I do want this chain belt though. Because that does give me my ward. So now I can keep some of my ward and it lowers my ward decay. So I'm able to like, it's almost like pseudo life steal. Like not only am I life stealing, right? Like say, say they hit me and they drop my health. I'm not only am I getting life, but I'm also gaining a ward. So it's like I'm doubling my life steal. It, it's like I'm overhealing. Yeah, I think it's really good. I'm just spinning, dude. I think having my movement speed, dude. What the fuck is this? I think having my lunge cooldown reduced would be pretty helpful. Uh, it just makes it so I can, like. Maybe I'll do that next. Maybe not for bosses, but for these guys. I, I like being able to, like, jump around a little bit. I think maybe because I die so much, I like uh, my XP's like I'm under leveled. What the fuck? I, I still don't, I don't know if you actually lose XP when you die though. Like, I fucking spawn all the way over here. It's annoying. I have 75 cold resistance, and these guys are still like just shitting on me. Um, if I die, can I, is that, okay. I don't want to see him. I think I'm always going to be moving with this, um, uh, more path. Sometimes I just stay still, and then they just stack all their beams on top of me, and then it just, like, kills me. I actually went the other way. Um, One thing I really like about this game that Path of Exile has a problem with is this game is very linear. Like the campaign, like everybody hates campaigns. Like no one, like let's be for real, like campaigns are trash in video games. People just want to get to the end game. And this game, uh, Lost Ark is really good at it too. Like they go, hey, Go here, do this. You can skip all this dialogue. You don't have to get confused. Like, there's only very few spots where it's like, oh, I went the wrong way. Like, you can om- The fuck? What the fuck was that? Did I, I, got, I didn't get frozen, did I? I think I lunged and the guy walled me. And then so I just stayed lunged. But uh, it's very rare. That you get lost, like you have to, you have to, like, like I went the wrong way or something like that. Very rare. 
And then in PoB, you get fucking lost all the time. Like, uh, you'll, dude, it's, I fucking, PoE's campaign makes me want to kill myself. I'm not gonna lie. You can go the wrong way the entire fucking, like, like 30 minutes, I swear to God. Dude, this shit's dropping my frames. What is going on? Yeah, Lost Ark has a really good campaign too. I wouldn't say good, but it's like um, very linear. Like it's like you go here, life, you do this, pick this up. And it's not like it's not like a labyrinth. Like you don't have to do any puzzles or any weird shit. Who cares about that? I must deal with it. There's no like getting confused. Like I've I haven't gotten confused a single time. This just feels good, man. I think my lunge needs to be on a slightly... Like, lower cooldown, just so I can start doing some extra stuff. Like, extra lunges. Whoa! I will say that some of these beams are pretty strong. Like... When you have like six mobs all doing a laser beam like that, and I lunge forward into the beams, it's kind of like, it's uh, hard to dodge, like it's, you know what I mean? It's hard to avoid. Like, like these beams are supposed to be easy to dodge. Like if I were to lunge into that, I, I lose like 25% of my life. percent chance now dude these fucking needlers dude I'm still looking for gloves, I'm pretty sure. Strike chance, chance of bleed. No, this seems like loaded. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is there catch up experience in this? I know in Path XL there is. Like, if I were to farm, like, it, like, you get more experience if you're behind. I wonder if you can go negative. Hmm, that's interesting. Like if I use all my, let's say if I use all my mana, right? And I have negative mana, and then I time warp. Uh, do I lose that mana that I gain? What the fuck is that? That's a, that would be a good test to do. Let's do time reversal. 
Enemies damage over time taken. Boom. <clears throat> All that's left is locating the lance. Ooh. Whoa! I didn't get the since this is a new area, I didn't get the um Oh this is gonna be fucking annoying, isn't it? Why is this doing so much cold damage though? I have max cold res. Is it is it because of like my life? Let's take this off. Let's put this back on. Let's transfer this. Do I have anything else cold? Okay. Um. 11% of cold damage taken as physical damage. I wonder if... Because my physical damage is so low. I wonder if I'm taking like extra damage than I should. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. All that's left I, is locating the 11 damage seems little, but we'll see. Yeah, so when the boss is about to die, I just use my Reeve and it fucking kills him. Okay, I need gloves. Gloves, 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 gloves. Necrotic resist. I don't think I need necrotic resistance, though. Uh, freeze rate multiplier. Okay, gold ring. What is gold ring? Elemental resistances. That's pretty good. Would you... But I'll tell me more. The lance was found, and a bond was formed. Do you think we'll see Hierot before their fates intertwined? Let's go together with mine. But for now, they focused on their gods. Nice. Am I paid attention to the storyline? I am not. I am not. Let's go this way. Let's go to the shop first. Yes. Yes, shop. Um, ooh. Vitality, 7 HP regen, increased armor. So is increased armor local? Like... It, like on the helmet or is it uh, increased armor overall necrotic damage void penetration that's really good 790 gold hmm Oh, I didn't look at this. Does it show? I forgot about this completely. Is 
Is that only like a level 24 dungeon? Does it say like level what level? Opens the door to the soul fire. Okay, dungeon. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't. Dodging rate, void resistance. Bingo. I think these idols are gonna be really important. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want the um. What do I want? I kind of want this. I don't yes. think it's worth shop. I really want this avoid penetration. It's a prefix. I don't know if it only goes on amulets, amulets, but I think void penetration would be pretty fine. Mm. Zero foraging potential, 19 forage. Increased void damage. I, I feel like a lot of my gear is just not good. Cast speed is also pretty bad too. Five potion slots. Um let's fucking buy it. And then let's just let's buy it just to dissemble it. <laughs> um Modifies the alcohol crash and upgrading a fix. Oh, this is new. This is new. We're gonna remove a, remove a random fix on an item, returning the number of shards. Okay. Um. Yes. Yes. So. Um. Uh. Fuck. We're gonna get rid of us. I probably should be using. Some of this, these, these, uh, these to break down my old gear just so I can have, like, just so I can, like, um, what, like, what do you, what would you call it? So I can, like, get some of the stuff back, I guess? I can, um, void resistance. There's no void. There's no void prefixes. I guess we got mana, attunement, dexterity, intelligence, strength. We have three of these. Um, I like strength. Tier one strength. Not good. Um, prefixes. What do we need? Dude, we need a poison necro. Like, I don't know how deadly a lot of these... Like, I don't know how... I don't know. See, in PoE, right? On standard, you want 75 elemental resistances and then zero chaos resistance, right? That's like, um, in hardcore, you want 75 chaos resistance, but in uh, like standard, zero is fine. Or at least like a little bit. You, you just don't want negative, you know what I mean? So I wonder if that's like the same here. Like, I wonder if poison, necronic, and void, these seem like. I don't know if. You know, like, I don't, I just don't know how deadly some of these, uh, uh some of these are. Because I feel like, I feel like physical resistance is just better. You know what I mean? I feel like increasingly each block effectiveness, you know what I mean? I feel like. Um, 10 foraging potential. Okay, okay, I lost five there. Um, two, that's pretty good. Throwing damage, trash. We have two more. Um, let's go fucking physical. Crit strike chance, void damage. All three, yeah, nice. Oh, I guess it's the tiers too. You get more per tier. Does it say the tier? It does not. That's a little annoying. Um, yes. Uh, let's pick this up. 
I see. We're gonna F this. We're gonna put this in here. We're gonna put this in here. Oh, I fucking, I'm yes. actually... Wait, what? Oh, do I need to transfer it first? I see. Um... We only got one strength shard there. Hmm. Oh, what's this on the side? What are these? I guess the suffixes? Void resistance, fire resistance. I guess these are like really good. No life and kill. Chance to shred armor. 3% increased life fire. Yeah. I mean, I'm, yes. I, I wouldn't say I'm rich, but like, I feel like. Poison, this is tier four poison resistance. Tier four void resistance. No, it's tier one. Oh, shit, I'm like dumb. What is this? Yeah, that's tier four poison. So if I buy this. Yes. Shop. I'm experimenting, guys. I, I'm not too sure. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna transfer void boom. Uh, three poison. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Makes so much sense. Makes so much sense. I know things are good. Of course. All that. If what you to be honest, I can't imagine it. We need to figure out this but fucking filter. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna, we're gonna need to find that out. Let's go near. Um, yeah, our poison resistance is seven. The thing is, I don't know how bad poison is. Like, there was one poison area, air, area, and it completely dicked on me. But I don't know how poison, how common it is over like physical void or necrotic. I guess once we get higher level, we'll get gear that already has like tier three poison resistance or tier four um you know like you know stuff like that but right now we're not getting uh we got also Strength shard, elemental resistant shard. Perfect. Dude, those are per like amazing. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Spell damage increased. No. Uh, maybe one more level in whirlwind so I can get so it's like free and I don't have to waste any, any mana I think that would be pretty good Ugh, I feel like we're getting less and less level ups though I know how I got I mean like of course we're we're getting higher level up but like skills and stuff like that like we're almost level 50, that's when we unlocked our uh, ability to specialize in lungs. I see you have returned with the lance. Now oh, well. it shall bear my final We blessing. have Zeroth's blessing. And we have hero. We must yield for it. We should die. Forgive me. Even Let's the end our gods cannot there. observe what fate intends for us. Do not let it bind you. All right, where are we going? We're going here? Why do I need to go backwards? Oh, let me just... Uh, T, down. 
Does this take me to town or does this take me? Let me go this. Let me just. Let me go here. Like, I don't know if that takes me to, like, the current town or if this takes me to, like, the previous town that I was. Yeah, I just found a struggle. Let me go down. Down this way. Hey, look at this guy. Oh, I can interact, I send can a message. Do that. Add as my friend. This game would be pretty fun multiplayer, but I just don't have any friends. <laughs> no friends, dude. Defenses. Um... Endurance, armor. So, reduces damage taken from all hits, but not damage over time. Armor is only 70% as effective against non-physical damage negation. 21% damage? What? Armor is only 70% as effective against non-physical damage. Armor, almost, armor also applies to non-physical damage? If that's the case, maybe that's why I was taking so much cold damage because I didn't have a lot of armor hello interesting In the wind, baby. <laughs> oh, this thing fucking max. Um, we are severely under level down. Stand down or die. Impaler. Armor, reduce, okay, life. I want to learn more about, like, the bases, like, the base items in this game. Like, I don't, I, like, I still don't know what my build needs necessarily. Like, I don't know. Right? And, uh, like, if you know something that can instantly improve my build, like, armor, or whatever, like, something I don't know, please let me know in the comments. Because I actually don't know what I'm doing. Like this. Like that seems like a really good base. Let me pick that up. Like the endurance threshold too. I mean. I don't think endurance is fucking going to save me anytime soon. But. Physical resistance, vitality, void resistance. Holy shit, yes. Lightning damage, lightning, spell lightning damage. Nice. Idle, small, sun resistant, necrotic resistance. I just want to look at some of these items. Alright, 
Let's level up. Um, what does this do? Increased void damage. Uh, reduce block chance, reduce block effectiveness. I don't fucking block, so who cares? Block? Who cares? Dude, I'm dual wielding, dude. Uh, entering the deep harbor. Oh. Oh, man. I need to give me like a fucking pop or a soda or something. Oh no, I feel the fucking hiccups. We have a problem. It is are you you did what then? They're holed up in the pier. If you think you stand a chance. Show no uh, let me check my. I don't have any abilities. Anomaly. Anomaly. Um, combo skill that first sends enemies forward in time by five seconds. Reactivate to bring those enemies back to your time. <laughs> what the fuck is this spell? Bosses are only sent forward by milliseconds, causing return effectiveness to create immediately without them visually disappearing. Oh, so they put a, a text, right? Text here to like, um, uh, orbs. Hmm. So you can't do, you can't do it on bosses, but I mean, that spell's pretty cool, I guess. Um. Can I? I just want to check real quick. Can I check the leveling path? I just want to see some. Like, I know this is stupid. Maybe I should do this on my free time. Um, they are affected by time lock. Returning them, unable to move or attack. Does not affect losses. Okay. For two seconds, that's so strong. I do that. Two seconds, they can't move. That's fucking. That's kind of cracked, dude. Okay, slay. I gotta slay some stuff. Level 50. Like, four levels behind. That's probably not good. But... I mean, what else can I do? Yeah, I think it's worth it to get the, um, no mana, uh, cost on my whirlwind, just cause it, I don't gain mana while I'm whirlwinding. I'm just gonna call it whirlwind. Yeah, I don't get any mana, so it's like, I wouldn't say worthless, but like, if it was zero, it'd be like, better. Or if I had gained mana, it would've been a little bit better. I still have to gain mana now. Ooh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want those. I did just go the wrong way and it's kind of tilting me. But at least I get some uh, experience to level up.
Blade of Frost. Nice. Okay, let's go this way. Boom. Smash, smash, TP back. Life can kill. Ouch, man. Is this the thing I'm supposed to be fighting? What the fuck is going on? Um, all these branches, dude. A lot of this, dude. I need a filter so bad. I don't think I'm. Am I even getting experience for killing these normal mobs? I had a small amount. I thought I killed one, a mob and I didn't get any experience. That's what I say. Yeah, so a bunch of these totems. Fuck. Vitality, prime list only. Stun chance, necrotic, increased healing effect to sneak. That's uh, pretty good. Chance to ignite. Um, chance to slow with void skills. Whoa. Whoa. Increase void damage over time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, we're gonna fucking hold on, hold on, hold on. Increased. Let's check it. Uh, and so it's like about there. It's fucking. It's fucking ass. Um. Vitality's pretty good. Transfer surge, let's see what I'm doing. Healing effectiveness, effectiveness, word. I think it's like, I, physical resistance and healing effectiveness goes go together pretty well. Warpath area, this doesn't do anything. Chance to slow on void skills though, that's really good. Damage over time, this is a three tall one. No, we need this. We need this. We need this. Um, we can get rid of three small ones. Like, what do I... Do I need this? Chance to poison it. Like, who the fuck cares? And we put this in there. Bleed duration? Uh, it doesn't doesn't matter. The increased void damage over time is really good. Increased minion life, cast speed, cold resistance, 18 foraging potential, minion life. I wish... A lot of this stuff just didn't. I wish some all of this stuff just didn't have. Like two, this doubles my armor though. Like this, I made this thing and it has nine fucking strength, dude. Nine fucking strength. It's tier four strength. I can even boost it. Uh, this. 
This gives me cold resistance. Oh, physical damage. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. It ends. I don't know if slowing on Void is any fucking good either. Stand down or die. Yeah, it's like pseudo poison. Ouch, holy shits. I'm glad it didn't one shot me. I was testing. Vitality, boom, boom. Vitality health regen. Ooh. Needs a 46. No, I need a 48. Yeah. No. Fuck. A lot of this stuff I'm. I'm like under level 4 in. Mean. Okay, where are we going? Back to town. Alright, this is going to be the end of the second episode later. Oh, not the second episode, but like, um, yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to, later, hope you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, later, peace.